welcome today's video is gonna be more of a walkthrough not a tutorial but if you learn something that's always nice so first I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and a Sonia Kashuk beauty blending sponge that I got from Target and I'm just putting powder in all the areas of my face that I normally get oily I do have combination oily skin so this step is vital to longevity in my makeup and just in case you guys want to know more about why people do this, um, I will link a couple helpful videos from both Jackie, Ina, and Jordan Liberty in my description box down below. So be sure to check that out if you want to know what the step is and why it's crucial and why it works. Next, I'll be taking my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15 and putting that all over various parts of my face. This is a full coverage foundation and I love the finish. I've actually been using this for about a year now. I started using it last summer around the same time I started the uh, tip with the translucent powder before foundation. To highlight, I'll be using the Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade Medium Deep 22. And of course, I'll be putting this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose. Um, I like to highlight my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And I'm just blending it out with my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blending Sponge. This sponge came in a set of about five or six. And again, I got these from Target. These are definitely really helpful because they come in different shapes and styles and so I would suggest checking those out if you're on the market for a new beauty blender. Now I'm taking my mini Max Fix Plus in the Passion Scents. Guys, these freaking sprays, oh my god, they smell so good and I'm not exaggerating. They're about $16 but just try one. Taking my True Complexion Contour Palette in the medium to dark shade from Black Radiance Beauty, I'm taking that contour shade and putting it on both cheeks at my temples and I also contour my jawline. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but my jawline is not super defined, so this is a trick I use to add just a little more definition. Now I'll be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder in the dark shade and I'm basically putting that everywhere that I did not contour including over my highlight. So now that's done and we're getting to a point where we're truly feeling ourselves. Let's get into this shadow. For this look I'll be using the Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I really love the packaging and the wand because it makes for easy application. Now I'm blending that out with a small damp clean beauty blender. Make sure it's clean or you'll ruin your base. Next I'll be going into my favorite palette from Morphe. This is the 35M Boss Mood. And I'm using the shade Play It Cool all in the crease of my lid. I also use the shade Peachy Keen to help deepen the crease. There's only about four to five browns in the palette. So I'm basically taking all four browns to build up definition. So here I'm still using Peachy Keen. Here I'm going into Talk Dirty. And then I lastly will go into Sparks Fly to just keep that crease really nice and defined. I kept a lot of footage that I would normally delete and crop out this time around just to kind of show you guys how much you go back and forth when it comes to like building up pigment and blending out your shadows. So I hope you guys enjoy or appreciate it but if you're not into that um, either way just let me know in the comments below so I can make those necessary changes. Now I'm using my Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. I'm putting the shade Extreme Aubergine in my outer V. Um, this color is like a really, really deep, pretty purple, but it could pass for a black, so that's why I chose to use it there to basically add more depth. Thank you. 
taking the shade bronze blaze i'm gonna just put that all over both of my eyelids and blend it gently into extreme aubergine It honestly wouldn't be me if I didn't drop something. <laughs> now I'm taking my finger again and going into the VR Fire Opal shade. This shade is so freaking pretty. It's like a green, glittery, fiery. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's really dumb pretty. And it just elevated the look. I was feeling a little bored with just plain brown and plain gold. So I had to make it a little exciting. Now I'm taking Blitz Flame on the inner corners just to give a little pop of color because you know we doing a red lip today. And I'm getting more and more happy with this look as it goes on so don't mind me. Now I'm setting my face with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I actually have oily skin, well combination oily, but I prefer a dewy or radiant natural finish as opposed to a super matte finish. Now I'm taking the Pat McGrath Labs Perma Gel Eyeliner Pen and Pencil and I'm using the pen on my top lash line and then for my waterline I'll be using the pencil. And I really appreciate it when I find a really good um, eyeliner pen because some of them don't write well over eyeshadow and so that's something I really like about the Pat McGrath Labs eye marker is you know that it just glides so effortlessly over eyeshadow and there's a lot of juice in it if that makes sense. Now I'm taking Extreme Aubergine and stamping that all along my lower lash line using a shader brush from Mikasa Beauty. And now for the star of the show, the MAC by Tiana Taylor Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter. Super duper pretty. Okay, how come no one told me that these mineralized skin finish baked highlighter situations from MAC are so good? Like, how come I don't ever see nobody talking about them? Is it just me? Is this like newbie behavior? Because this, this is popping. And I guess it's because I like a subtle highlight that like melty, melted into my skin. Let me see how this looks in the mirror though. man that is really freaking pretty like i really like it um i haven't heard good reviews about this highlighter i mean like people are like meh but again this is my very first skin finish highlighter from mac so take that how you want it take it however you want to um i'm impressed but who am i i guess I'm about to just dip my whole face in it because I love it so much. No, I really like this though. Like, not even bugging, trying to clown. I am trying to clown, but. Ooh. I just, oh, this is so good. And like, I think it's my skin tone as well. I don't know how it looks on everybody else, but I know how it looks on me and it looks dope good okay yes Ooh. what like who are you talking to because you're not talking to me not me you can talk to my cheekbone oh okay because <laughs> i thought a girl who didn't have the mac tiana collab said something oh okay What was that? Oh, okay. Okay.
Y'all, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm putting it everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, it's just, it's just good. All right, I don't got nothing else to say. Um, that's my first time trying one of those. I might have OD. That's all right, cause now it looks like I got a gold milk mustache. So next up the lippies i did also get juni b and cyber worlds because i don't have them uh cyber world is like a year-round color so the packaging is like the only thing that's different that's the only thing that be getting me about mac and their collaborations like i never got hype over a mac collaboration i just really love tiana taylor but um there was just a lot of repetition with this collection which is probably why it didn't really sell out as well but in tiana's defense a lot of these are based around her favorites growing up and just things that they may still have or close replicas of that so certain things are brand new and other things are not so that was tiana's preference we're going to respect that and keep it pushing forward so what i'm taking is the color night moth you guys have probably already seen this combination all over freaking YouTube. But you have not seen it from me. That's like my favorite thing to say. Is that you've seen it from everybody but you haven't seen it from me. That's like my new tagline because I'm always late to the freaking party. Alright. So. Back to business. Now. I'm going to be taking the MAC Tiana Taylor Lip Pencil in the shade Night Moth. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. None of your lips be feeling like surgery sometimes. Like you just, you just like hold your breath until you're done. At least I do. Y'all remember when girls used to make the little X right here? I don't know why they did that, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. Cause it just looks cool. I don't know. I don't know why. And then I am making the, the line around my lips very thick. Cause I want to blend this out a certain way. taking the Tiana Taylor matte lipstick in the shade of Rose in Harlem and putting that all over the center part of my lips and this has to be one of my favorite matte reds that I've tried in a while I was thinking about doing a video just focused on the MAC Tiana Taylor collab but this isn't the most life-changing earth-shattering collection although I do like it I'm not sure I personally would like a whole video surrounding it so let me know if you guys want to see that or else I'll just continue to do little looks like this where I incorporate the product I'm gonna apply my Lily Lashes style Miami off camera I'll be right back so there you guys have it this is the finished look and it's very sultry very glittery fun i could see this being a really nice holiday party look or just a special occasion date night type of look so let me know what you guys think in the comments below again this lip color is gorgeous i love the highlight everything was really beautiful 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and comment down below. And if you catch the vibe, please subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Mac, make these bigger. It smells so good, y'all. I'm not even.